Mayor Han Jun has been emphasizing various employment aid plans promoting job seeking for college graduates as one of the most crucial elements to ensure social stability and sustainable economic growth. Song Yun has the story produced in collaboration with Shanghai Daily. In spite of the domestic economy's recovery, officials still find it hard to predict a better job market in 2010. Nearly 170,000 students will graduate from local colleges this year, about 10,000 more than last year. Nationwide, about 6.3 million will graduate, and many may want jobs in big cities like Shanghai. One of the city's employment-boosting policies is to offer college graduates more practical training in technical and managerial skills. Besides, we need to provide more internship opportunities for them. Actually, a government-subsidized internship program was launched many years ago and greatly expanded last year to offer more than 30,000 internship posts. But so far, only one-fourth of the participants have secured jobs. Some political advisors say youngsters need to improve their competitiveness and take a correct career attitude. I have researched last year's program. Many students haven't first secured a position before looking for more pleasant ones. Some female students even consider marriage or childbirth to avoid employment pressure. Some advisors from private enterprises suggest the government work as a bridge between them and the employees and establish some favorable policies. Many students are battling to secure a job, but thousands of private firms have difficulty recruiting them. For example, many interns in my company reject my offers because they want to be civil servants with better benefits. These advisors say possible incentives could include favorable policies on residence card or hukou applications or offering more social welfare benefits. Zhongyun ISIS News.